the target of this facility is to produce a static magnetic fields that is used to test almost all type of equipment that should be later on installed into the tokamak. All the system has been built in China. In terms of uh, uh, production of uh, magnetic field capacity, uh, the maximum uh, production that uh, can be performed by the, our facility is uh, 275 milli Tesla. That is more, for the time being, uh, is more than enough for the, all the components that, that will be installed inside the tokamak. One other important parameter is uh, uniformity of the field. You need to, that the field should be uniform as much as possible inside the volume for the test. And since the beginning, when we started with the facility in uh, 2023, in July, uh, progressively uh, there was uh, an increasing demand of tests for the facility. We tested the circuit breaker, we tested electronic cars, we tested the laptop, uh, electronic components in general, but also electromechanical components. We are here to make an experiment on the static magnetic field test facility. So we brought uh, an essential part of ITER here for testing. ITERs can have off normal events which are called disruptions, which uh, poses huge risk for the machine's integrity, which must be somehow mitigated. And this is uh, the uh, so-called disruption mitigation system is for, uh, which consists of 27 uh, pellet injectors. So the idea is that we somehow try to dissipate the plasma energy uh, as a form of heat by injecting a huge amount of material into the plasma. And the idea is that we freeze uh, hydrogen ice in a, in a barrel or, or in a tube and we accelerate it with high pressure gas. And the high pressure gas must be released by a fast acting, acting valve, which we designed this is a laboratory prototype as we bought here. Uh, so the question is if or valve can work in magnetic field or not. So uh, having this facility is extremely important. So there is a, a very few uh, institutes in the in the world which can uh, produce a magnetic field at such level in such high um, volume. So it is a great opportunity for us to be here, and uh, that ITER can support us with this testing. Uh, this laboratory is primary is very important for ITER. Uh, components because uh, it is the only possibility that we have to test in real condition uh, the, the equipment that later on there will be installed in the tokamak. <laughs>